All right, shall we go to uh, Clifford Haynes? Um, hey, Clifford. I just bought a 1.5 TB hard drive. Terabyte? Terabyte. I'm learning, so that's I'm like learning. that's like 1,500 gigabytes. That's wow. a big hard drive. Wow. I also modified the BIOS to recognize the installation. Kay. When I open my computer, the hard drive does not show up. However, it does show that it is installed when I open systems system properties. How do I get the hard drive recognized so that I can format it and use it? The drive is an SATA drive, as is the C drive. What am I missing doing? Okay. Running Windows XP Service Pack 3. Uh, what I would think is happening here is that your drive doesn't have uh, a created partition table. So I'm guessing that it's a new drive uh, and you've never formatted it, you've never set it up to actually have a drive letter association. What we can do, I've just brought up, this is the only thing I can do, I've got my uh, Backstage Pass computer here has got Windows XP on it, so um, I will go. Just go up to my computer, and right-click on my computer. Your your layout may be a little bit different, but or even on your desktop, wherever you've got my computer, right-click on it and go Manage. That's going to bring you up into a cool little window that is allowing you to manage your Windows XP system. One of the options down here. This is also just for the for the record. This is also where you can find like your Event Viewer. So if you ever have a system crash and you want to look at you know, what caused that event, you can find out just by going here, and uh, you'll be able to see the crash codes and things like that. So, but under storage, you'll see disk management. And under disk management, you've got a list of all the hard drives that are in your system. You'll see them up here. So you should see your new, com your new hard drive up here, but it probably doesn't have a drive letter association. So where my drive here has a C colon, your drive is just going to have nothing there. It's just going to be blank. So you would highlight that drive. And it's going to say that there, you know, there's no, maybe it's not NTFS, maybe it's not been formatted. So you want to right click on it and follow the instructions there. You want to create a new partition. Uh, in your case, if it's already been uh, formatted, see format is an option there too. Uh, you may need to add a drive letter. Uh, that's possible too. Just by using that option there, uh, change drive letter and paths, so you might need to assign a drive letter. But again, it has to have a partition on it. It's got to have a, you've got to ha have it formatted as well. So the, dr the drive is being detected, so that's no problem. It's just that it's not actually being uh, connected to your, to your system in a, in a way that you can see it.